boo boo. So today, me and my dad are gonna be reacting to Lionel Messi is a dog, never dies. Didn't we really watch him, right? He's nice. He's yes. the one that's good, right? Yeah, he's the one that's good. really good. So, the original video will be linked down below. Also, if you have any rest requests, let me know in the comments down below. And let's jump into the video. You ready? That quick answer is because of my daughter, because of my wife, because my family is from Catalonia. But if I had to answer with honesty why I'm still here in Barcelona in these awful and boring times, it would be because I'm 40 minutes in train away from the best football in history. I mean, if my wife and daughter decided to go to live to Argentina right now, I would divorce and stay here, at least until the Champions League final. Because the world has never seen something like this inside a football pitch, in no era ever. And it's very likely that it will never happen again. It's true. I'm writing this at a special time. I'm writing this at the same week that Messi scored three goals for Argentina, five for Barcelona in the Champions League, and two for his club in La Liga. Ten goals in three games of three different competitions. The Catalan press doesn't talk about anything else. For a little while, the economic crisis isn't the subject in the front page of news. Internet explodes. And in the middle of this, a theory just passed. A very strange, hard to explain theory. That's why I'll try to write it down to see if I can finally grasp it fully. It all started this morning. I'm looking non-stop at messy goals on YouTube. I'm doing it with guilt because I'm in the middle of the editing of the magazine number 6. I shouldn't be doing this. Casually, I click in a compilation of clips I've never seen before. I think it's another video like the other thousands, but I soon realize it's not. The clip is not about Messi goals, his best runs, nor his assists. It's a strange compilation. The video shows hundreds of clips, two or three seconds long each, in which Messi receives strong fouls and doesn't fall to the ground. In each frame, he keeps his eyes on the ball while it struggles to find balance. Him, hold him. He makes inhuman boards for the hold match him. not to be stopped, nor the opposite player to get a yellow card. There are a lot of little clips of fierce kicks, obstructions, stamps and cheek, right reckless up. tackles and shit grabbing. I've never seen them all together. He goes with the ball and receives a kick in the tibia. When the guy cleats on, he gets it in the ankles, stumbles and keeps going. He gets the shirt grabbed and pulled by a defender. He frees himself and keeps going. Suddenly, I was stunned. Because something was familiar for me in those images. I replayed each frame in slow motion. Why? And there was no purpose. His eyes are always going to be cheating. But not in the sport, nor in the context. Football nowadays has very clear regulations by which a lot of times going to the ground could mean securing a penalty. Or getting a knockout of the match. Football nowadays has very clear regulations by which a lot of times going to the ground could mean securing a penalty. Getting an upside player booked because it could be useful in later counterattacks. But in these clips, Messi seems not to understand anything about football or about opportunities. It seems like he's in trance, hypnotized. He only wants the ball inside the goal. He doesn't care about the sport, nor the result, nor the loss. <laughs> you have to look at He squeezes he's relentless. like if you are struggling to read a subtitle. No, he focuses on the ball and doesn't lose sight of it. Not even if he would get stuck. Like, just he just Where determined. Did I see that look right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It looked familiar to me. Anybody know about Alan Ivers? I know. I paused the video, too. zoomed into his eyes, and then I remembered the eyes of the team when he lost his mind for the sponge. Look at him holding him. Look at him. When I was a child, he cheated. Yeah, but I'm saying why did he hold? It wasn't an intelligent thought. It makes you look bad. The thieves broke into the house. He just looked at them while they carried away the television. The doorbell sounded. Look at him tripping. He didn't seem to have heard it. I puked and it didn't come to lick it. But when somebody, my mother, my sister, or myself, wow, grabbed the sponge, yeah, hold his shirt. Look at that. Washed the dishes. The team went mad. He wanted the sponge more than anything in the world. He died for taking the yellow rectangle and carry it to the dog bag. I showed him the sponge with my right hand and he focused on it. I moved it side to side and he never stopped looking at it. He couldn't stop looking at it. It didn't matter the speed at which I moved the sponge. Tutin's neck would move at identical speed through the air. His eyes turned into attentive, intellectual eyes. Like Messi's eyes, which stopped being the eyes of a scatterbrained teenager and for a few seconds turned into the attentive side of Sherlock Holmes. 
I discovered today watching that video that Messi's a dog. Or a dog man. No, he's a, no, he's like, he was about to strip him, but he stopped that you himself. made it this long with better expectations. Messi is the first dog that plays football. It has a lot of sense that he doesn't care about the rules. Maybe he doesn't even understand them. Dogs don't fake and dive when they see a car coming in their direction. They don't complain Ooh, to the referee. Through those legs. See that? That's they don't want the garbage truck to be booked. No, the hold it. Look at the beginning of the ball. The humans were like this too. They went for the ball and nothing else. Sure, I'm looking at the colored cars didn't exist. Yeah, those be cheating. I don't like that, man. You no, know, the away goals were more important than the home ones. In the beginnings, the people played football like Messi and Totin. Afterwards, everything got very strange. Right now, Ooh. everybody seems to be hey boy, he don't stop, yo, he don't sport. stop. It's lost. After an important game, people take a week long to talk about the legislation. Did Juan get booked purposefully Ooh. so he could miss the next That's match crazy. and play a classic? No, let me see that one more time. After an important game, people take a week long to talk about the legislation. Did Juan Watch. get booked purposefully Ooh, do so his he legs. miss the next match and play a classic? Did Pedro really fake the foul inside the penalty box? Will they allow Pancho to play as stated by the clause number 208 that says that Ernesto is playing for the U17? Did the coach order to overwater the pitch so the opponents would slip and break their cranium? Did the ball boys disappear when the game was 2-1 and appear again when it was 2-2? Will the club appeal Paco's double yellow card in the tribunal? Did the referee correctly add the minutes that Ricardo lost by protesting the sanction that Ignacio received because of Luis' time wasting before the throw in? No, sir. Dogs don't listen to the radio. Watch it, look. Weekend. No, I'm saying, look. Watch don't it, don't understand if a game's in the See, look. Court See, smacked him. Or the final. He smacked him, yo. Dogs want to take the sponge to the dog bed, even if they're tired to death or if the mites are killing them in pain. Messi's a dog. He breaks records of other times because only until the 50s the dog man played football. Afterwards, the FIFA invited us to talk about the See that? And we forgot how important the sponge is. And one day, a sick boy appears. Like the day a sick monkey stood upright and mankind has to restart it. This time it was a kid from the Sari. <laughs> Apparently, some had disabilities. Unable to say one phrase after another, Visibly awkward, unable to almost anything related to human guile. But with an impressive talent to yeah, look at them. Is they doing it on? Hey, hey, and take yeah, it to man. the net at the end of the Green Prairie. If people let him, he wouldn't do anything else. Take that white sphere and put it in between the three posts all the time, like Sisyphus, over and over again. Guardiola said after the match in which he scored five goals, the day he wants, he will score six. Crazy, it wasn't a compliment, it was the objective expression Ooh. of the symptoms. Lionel Messi is a sick man. It's an illness that moves me because I love the team and now Messi is the last dog man. And to watch attentively that illness, to see it evolve every Saturday. That's why I'm still in Barcelona, even though I'd prefer to be living somewhere else. Every time I climb the camp new stairs, and I suddenly see the brightness of the lightning pitch. That moment that always reminds us of our childhood, I say to myself, Breaking dudes, angles, all that! For liking so much a sport, and be contemporaneous of its best version, and on top of that, that the pitch where it happens is so close to you. I enjoy my double luck. It's my treasure. I'm nostalgic of the present moment every time Messi plays. I'm a fanatic of this club in this historic time. Because I think, on doomsday, all the men that have ever lived will be reunions to talk about football. And one will say, I studied in Amsterdam in 1979. Another will say, I was an architect in Sao Paulo in 62. And another one, Ooh. I was a teenager in Napoli in 87. And my father would say, I traveled to Montevideo in 67. And another one behind him, I listened to the silent Maracana Salem in 1950. Everybody will tell the story with pride. Look, 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 grabbing his shirt, look at him, look at him, look at him. And when nobody is left, I will stand up and say, You know what I'm saying? They be cheating, man. I lived in Barcelona in the times of the dark man. You wouldn't hear a thing. It would be silent. Everybody else will lower their head, and God will appear. Dressed as the last judgment and pointing at the scene. 
You, the little fat one, you are saved. Everybody else, to the showers. I become a new fan of Macy, yo. The boy is a beast, yo. Them guys be out there cheating, grabbing his shirt, trying to, trying to kick him and clip him. Mm -hmm. If you ain't nice, you ain't nice. That's all. Bottom line, I'm a new fan. Like, he shows you that whatever sport you in, go hard like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think? He beast. Yo, he, yo, man. He's really good. So if you play basketball, go hard like him. If you play football, go hard like him. If you you box, go hard like him. Mm -hmm. Like whatever you do, go hard. Separate yourself from the from the average. Right. You know I mean, like that's why we watching him right now because he separated himself from the average. So mm -hmm. shout out to Macy. I'm a I'm a new fan of the boy. Holla. Peace out. Peace. Never told you that you need. How deep is your love? Is it like the